All right, um, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And as you can see here, I got my new microphone, got my new microphone, and the webcam is now way over there. <laughs> All right, and got the game here. So I think I've, so I think I've figured this out now. I think is what I gotta do is, um, come up here, pull that one out. All right, two, two, one, one, uh, four, All right, everyone, that's, that's how it's done. You got a small key. Use this key to open locked doors. All right, I'll do that. Touch a door to open it. You can only use it once. Yeah, I can't wait until I'm doing the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I won't have to look at the gamepad as much. Annoying. Alright, now what you want to do is, you want to come over here, and you want to, um, pull out this block here. And you want to go ahead and push it all the way up to there, to trap the stupid dumb rat with the key. And just wait for him to come out and watch the map. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get rid of that little fiend. Nice to know we got another small key, uh-huh. Leave me alone! Don't even think about it, buddy. Yeah, I also plan on doing an episode of The Legend of Zelda Chaos Edition, too. But I thought it was only going to be about eight or nine minutes. Okay, Tiffy? Well, it looks like I made it to the... What place is this called again? The Dex or something? We made it to the port. It's so much farther to walk when the bridge is out. Got that right. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. The coward which we all know and love. I've met him once or twice and can't say I care for him. He's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. Okay, let's head to the port. Ah, oh, but before we head to, um, to Linebeck, there is someone I want to go talk to. Where does it show my rupees at? Oh, I only have 62 rupees? Well, let's head in there anyway and see what we can muster up here.
Oh, wrong place. I'm an idiot. I think the place I want to go to is here. Tiffany, what was that? It sounds like it sounds like a monster. I wonder if I can buy that shield yet. Let's see here. Welcome, shopper. How can I help you? Eighty rupees. Not. I'm. I'm just like uh, eighteen rupees shy of what I need. Crap. I know. I can go cut some grass until I have eighty rupees. Did you ever actually get a shield when you're playing? You ever find out what that red red um, pearl thing does? Is there a fast way of gathering rupees here? Is there any trees to bump into around here somewhere? Shouldn't yeah we should, but I want to get some money first. Oh, you freaking annoying fairy! Son of a bitch. Well, I'm not just gonna stand around cutting grass. Let's go talk to. Oh, oh great! I fell in the water. Timothy, do not laugh. Oh, now I gotta listen to that ignorant beeping noise. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think? of it. Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. It belongs to a sea captain what goes by the name of Linebeck. A fearless soul, I hear. He's been the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Linebeck? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck has vanished to. Yeah, Link's about to die right to now. Come on, grass, give me something. Alright, so where is Linebeck? Over there somewhere, I'm guessing. What? What the hell do I gotta go do? Huh? In there? No, I don't think I gotta go in here, Tiffany. In here? Well, we're about shy of ending off this episode, though, here pretty soon. I think I might end this episode off after I talk to this guy, because I want to do an episode of the Chaos Edition. I'm just dying to do that. Oh, I forgot to read that part. Lots of local drifts in here to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. You'll be... You'll be more... More welcome, you'll be more than welcome when when you've gone a little farther in life. Basically, what he's saying is you gotta you gotta wait until you're like 21. I'm guessing that's the uh, drinking age, I guess. Looking for Lineback? Sure, I know him. And that chair there, chair, that chair there knew him recently. Why is he calling that guy a chair? <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought he was calling that guy sitting there a chair. Anyway, Linebeck just dashed out saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. Okay, yak much. Alright. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the... Not, not important to read that. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the, the Temple of the Ocean King. Listen up, young youngin. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. No, you think? And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, 
A curse was l laid on the place that sucks the souls from all who enter. Do you ever shut up, old man? Anyway, I'm sorry, that sounded a little harsh. None dare step into the temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Yak some more, okay. Can't say where, where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this, stay out of it. Yes, steer clear, that's what we all do. Because you're all bloody cowards if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, but at least he had the courage to actually go there. So that's a lot more courage than these dudes have. But the odd visitor now and, and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? It's right on the map. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Right here on your... Yeah, duh. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end that off on a set on an awesome note. Awesome Mike! Oh, baby! And I was kind enough to give that um, older one to my sister, so that's good. But she doesn't seem to like it. I don't know why. I think I could figure it out, though. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. And uh, and please comment my new mic. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you subscribe if you like, if you haven't already. And uh, please leave a comment. And uh, again, thank you for watching.